What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Truth Be Told. I'm Chuck Tobert, here with the lone one. What's going on, brother? What's going on? Everything fine? Everything's all right. Good, good, good. Uh, Melody not with us today. She had an emergency. Uh, we just hope everything is okay with her. Um, lone one. Yes. You just celebrated a birthday, man. Yeah, I did. 37. A year of Mr. Touchdown. How, how, how was it, man? Oh, it, it was very good. It was very, very good. My lady, she took real good care of me. Well, what did she do, if, if you can tell us? Um, she took me to the steakhouse. Okay. Um, very, very nice, you know, setting. Yeah. We was there, you know, us and another, and it's us and another couple. Okay. We were the only two black couples in the whole damn steakhouse. Very okay. high in drink. Yeah. Um, National Harbor Villa Villaggio Steakhouse. Okay. Have you ever okay. been in Nah, I don't eat steak. That damn menu was like $150 for a damn drink. I was like, hey, all right, whatever. Okay. So, hey, I was like, okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Did so I know you like to pay for everything. Did you let her treat you for your No, birthday? sir. What? <laughs> no. Uh uh-uh, uh, sir. <laughs> nope. So, not even on your birthday, you can't get treated? Um, yeah, when she buys, like, the gifts and stuff like that. Okay, did you get a gift? Yes. Okay, what's up? What, the gifts I got? Yeah, what you get? Come well, on. I'm a huge, huge Georgetown Hoyas fan. Yes, okay. So, I got some um, Beach by Dre earphones. Okay. I got a Georgetown hoodie. Okay. Okay. And a Georgetown t shirt. Yeah. And I um, told him that I had to tell her because she's like, why are you going to wear them? No, no. These are precious items. <laughs> These go to the closet. These are worn on special occasions. Yeah. One does not just wear Georgetown, yeah. you know, apparel every single day. No. Especially no. today. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, I, they, they, that's, my, that's been my team since birth. That's yeah. the first team I ever liked. Yeah, it was the Georgetown Hoyas. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, we haven't hooked up since the New Year. Do anything for the New Year? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, man, I went to the uh, harbor, right? Okay. Not the harbor, like the steakhouse. Nothing. Um, that was in the MGM. Okay. That was in the MGM the steakhouse. Yeah. I went to the National Harbor, right? Mm-hmm. And they had all these ballrooms. This part of the harbor I never even seen before. Yeah. Right? Went to the ballroom. They had a big, super huge ballroom. And they had these little other small, tiny ballrooms. So we had VIP passes, right? Okay. So we went to these little, the little small ones. Mm-hmm. So we just in there chilling, right? So one of the yeah. judges was called the Throwback Old School, right? So they go in there and all the music they playing, this shit I grew up listening to. And I'm like, I ain't old school. I, ain't, I know old school. I ain't old school. You definitely are old they school. They playing all 90s rap, You dog. definitely are old I'm like, OG. come on, dog. You definitely old school, So man. we was in there. The drinks were free once you buy the ticket. Okay. Yeah, one okay. drink free, one buy the So yeah. it's called Big Night Event DC. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, all single fellas. When you go in there, there is ass and titties as far as the <laughs> eye can see. As far as the eye can see. Yeah. I mean, damn. And we went to the poor level, right? Because you got different yeah. levels. Yeah. I'm not going to say the poor level, but you got yeah, the ones yeah, people yeah. that's buy the regular ticket. Right, right, right. So we went to the regular ticket level because we can go anywhere because we're VIP. Yeah. So we go to the regular ticket level. The ballroom super huge because they know it's going to be more people more that people. buy the regular ticket. Right. Man, dog. That ballroom was so huge. They had a live band. And there was so many women in there. And I'm telling my girl, like, why do you keep bringing me around all of these women? And you expect me to keep my eyes in my head. Like, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on? What do you want me to do? Man, I'm telling you. Yeah, so it's safe to say you had a good time. I had a good time because she had a good time. Good. Like, you know, she's in there dancing and doing her thing and shaking her butt and doing the, doing the butt and the groove thing and all that. Yeah. So, you know, that's 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 her thing. Me, I'm more chill back, relaxed. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm more of a bar and TV and ambiance, ambiance and smoking a cigar. Yeah. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. All that jumping up and down and shaking and partying and all that. That's, you know. Yeah. That's what she's in. seemed like it was something both of y'all could do. Like, she can dance, and you can get your ambiance on. Yeah, I can sit, all I need is a cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah, liquor, yeah, yeah. and, you know, a place I can smoke. And okay. I'm having a good time. A little right. bit of music or TV, that's cool. That's, all right. All right, so, yeah, I mean, it sounds like, you know, y'all had a good time. Um, any New Year's resolution? Do you do that type of thing? No. 
You don't do that? No. Um, okay, well, normally I don't either, but this year um, I made it a point to, uh, you know, normally um, I like to celebrate New Year's when it's actually New Year, when it's like uh, springtime, mm -hmm. when they did the flowers and the grass grow back. To me, that's, you know, new life. It can't be a new year when everything's dead. So I normally used to always do my stuff in the springtime. But this year, I made it a point to um, just do some subtle changes uh, in the way I think and the way I move and the people that I want to have around me and the things that I want to have in my circle. Uh, I decided, you know, cut off a lot of people. You know, I'm not watering any more dead flowers, per se, um, any relationship that I had in the past that I only speak, you know, once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. Just cut that out. Anybody that just come with a lot of drama and stuff, cut that out. I want to just focus on just positive thinking and then uh, just being more positive for 2023. So, I mean, I guess in a way, that's a New Year's resolution. I um only thing I do every year is my age. Mm -hmm. When I turn, you know, whichever age I am, I base it off. And I started this since I was 23. Okay. So, um, it came from a friend of mine named Rick. Mm -hmm. um, I got the idea when he told me, oh, yeah, you turn to 23. MJ, dog. MJ. So, I decided to base mm -hmm. every year off of a famous sports player who wore the number of the age that I turned. So, this year was really hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I had this year is thirty seven. I just turned thirty seven. So the most famous and best player Sean is Alexander. Sean Alexander. Yeah, so Sean I said the year of the touchdown. Yeah. So okay. I had to, you know, this is gonna be Mr. Touchdown year, the okay. year of the touchdown. His nickname was Mr. Touchdown. Yeah. So I said this is gonna be the year of the touchdown. Last year I was thirty six. So I based it off of Jerome Bettis. I said I'm getting on the bus this year. You know, mm -hmm. we're gonna be moving the wheels. Yeah. The year before that was I was thirty five. Okay, and I based it off of Frank Thomas. Not Katie. I, not Katie. Okay. Not Katie. Okay. Frank Thomas, um, the big hurt. Yeah. And, you know, that was the year I lost my father. So that yeah. was the big hurt. Yeah. Um, the year before that yeah. was 34. I based that off of Walter Payton. This is going to be the year of sweetness. And there's a lot of sweetness going on at 34. <laughs> um, I made it my mission to, you know, have a, you know. <laughs> get a, do okay, a, okay, do okay, a, okay, okay. <laughs> We get the picture. And then we had 33, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, um, the year of the Skyhook, you know, mm -hmm. and then before that, OJ, 32, OJ Simpson Saga, and, you know. Sir, okay, so so 37, mm -hmm. the year touchdown, what does that mean? Um, You know, we're going to be scoring. A lot of we're scoring, scoring, a lot of celebrating, lot celebrations. Of I don't know about celebrations, but I know we're going to do some scoring. We're going to make some moves this year. We're going to okay. make some moves, we're going to score. Okay. We're going to make it happen. All right. Good, good thing to, uh, okay, good, good, good. Okay, speaking, speaking of touchdowns, um, I saw this story yesterday, and I wanted to know your thoughts on it. Mm. Um, Aaron Hernandez. Oh. Yes. His, uh, <coughs> his child's mother, the mm -hmm. Aaron Hernandez lawyers who control his trust and things mm -hmm. are, um, are saying his child's mother is misusing the trust. She spent thousands of dollars what they feel on things unnecessary such as hair, nails, and, and things that is not related to the daughter. And this is after the story came out about the NBA daughter, the dude that was trying to make the NBA and he said that after he they found out he wasn't drafted his girl got on the plane and he never seen her again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is after that. This this is just just came out. This story just came out a couple of days ago mm -hmm. about her misusing the funds. Yeah. Um. What's your thoughts on that? Do you do? Is there such thing as misusing the funds? Um. Yes, but it's. I don't think it's against the law. Right. Um. If that was the case, America would be broke. Because women are the biggest consumers. <laughs> um, you know, I mean, what do they expect? If they gave it to the parents, the woman who was the parent, she would be misusing the funds. Um, that's just what uh, uh, women do. They they misuse they, they mismanage their money. They misuse their you know their money. Not all women, 
But for the most part, I think it's safe to say, and I know some of y'all, well, you can't say, oh, that's a stereotype. Listen, I know. Well, you cleaned it up. You said not all. Not all. I I know most. I know a lot of women. Right. Uh, I I think I know, like, I could maybe get the count on one hand. I know women that that do good with that good, do good with money. Um, I need to use all toes, um, other fingers, ears. Um, hair follicles, mm-hmm. everything to to, uh, to count as many women I know that mismanage their money. So I mean that's I mean what do they expect? Brian Banks, the girl you know who falsely accused him of rape. Yeah, her mother blew through what was it two point four million. Yeah, and the yeah. reason why she get, was pissed off because her mother went through the whole money she didn't get any of the money. I mean mm-hmm. that's 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 just a common thing. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily. You know, it, it says something like she's getting one hundred and eighty thousand a month, mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Um, based on just you know him being in the league, uh, it's not much you can do with that money. You know, if if the mother want to get her hair done, and I mean, how else is she gonna catch another ball player? You know what I'm saying? If she looked good enough to catch a football, player, you say she's getting one hundred eighty thousand a month. Yeah, she's been given almost a million dollars since that. They say eight hundred and thirty something thousand dollars. Then they got a charge of her spending twelve thousand dollars in home goods. At that point, you're misusing the funds. You're misusing the funds at that point. So I mean, I don't know, you know, what can be done. Um, yeah, I don't know what could be done or anything like that, but nothing. The corporate, these corporate empires um, that run this country, they, their whole entire structure is built on a woman's spending habits. It's built on a woman's spending habits. But when that spending habit is specifically designed for something. That's when it should be a problem. You know that it, company. We can take that into child support. When child support. So, um, when that comes to is structure. If they really care about the children or child support or whatever, they will put stru- They will have structure in place. That's not what they care about. They're using it as an opportunity to fatten their pockets, to line their pockets. For example, they had the idea. And this was on The View. You watched The View? No. I, somebody put it up <laughs> on my, one of my YouTube channels. They were talking about it. Okay. Well, okay. the girl was crying because they said the child support needs to go on a certain car every month. And the women should be using that car for... And they were just... Those women on there were just crying. They were just... Yeah. A, and lot of like, women, a lot of women misuse child support. They go on trips with the child support. They get hair and nails done with the child mm-hmm. support. They pay car notes. And they pay rent with the child support. Yeah, a lot of women are misusing child support, are living off child support, especially the ball player wives. You know, they getting uh, baby mamas. They getting thirty or forty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, they having a month. Yeah, a month. If you got a baby that's like two months years old, you're getting thirty thousand a month for a two month old. Resorts, Asian nail salons, um, hair salons. Um, Walmart, Sam's Club. I mean, all these companies, they got to get funded. These are jobs. These are people, they employ people. They make money. They pay taxes to the government who also makes money off of services and goods. The truckers who deliver the goods get paid. Yeah, the, the, the women are the ones who they depend on to continuously support all these businesses because at the end of the day you got to understand they know the woman and they know the man the woman just wants to have fun girls just want to have fun no don't I didn't say that Cindy Lawler said it girls just want to have fun and they know this you know how men have fun How's building that? shit we can sit around all day build cars put TVs up tables together we having a ball mm. And that's the main time the women send the, the men send the women out of the room, 
Because they be a distraction. You try to put a door together. Yeah. We just over there, you know, doing you a, try a, to put going, a desk what together and they, they asking a thousand yeah. questions. Yeah. Just yeah. go in the other yeah. room, please. Go watch TV. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Um, okay. So what's going, what is going to benefit them more? Men building something or women spending money and lining their pockets? It's going to be the men, the women spending money. So you have no problem with her. If you're, if you're Aaron Hernandez's brother, you have no problem with what she's doing. Did he leave me any money? I don't know. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Um, so, so yeah. So it's um, it's a lot of miss money using and and a lot of things like that. But um, something happened to me the other day. Uh, a female, a female wanted to um. Wanted to go out. Wanted to hang out. I asked her if she wanted to hang out. She said, yeah. So that turned into, well, my niece, my niece is here with me. She's going to want to go out too. Mm-hmm. So, all right, cool. I called my wingman. Wingman came right over. Came right over. My wingman comes right over. Then it turns into, okay. My niece, she just getting away from her baby friend, her baby father. She don't have no clothes. She needs a outfit. So now my red flag goes up. Wait a minute now. First you want your niece to come out. Now you think I'm about to buy your niece a outfit? You know what I thought about at that moment? I thought about, I thought about you and the words that you love to use, simps. She must have thought I was a simp. Yeah, so, you know, I've been out the dating scene for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm 10 years removed from the dating scene. Is is that the norm? Do women expect you to take their friend out? Oh, I didn't, she wanted me to take her niece's kids with us too. Mm -hmm. Is, Is that the norm? It depends on, in my experience, and this is just my experience, it depends on how fine a woman is. She's not that fine. She's not that fine. Okay. I well, won't even say she's fine. She well, lied. Um, you got to understand a lot of women are delusional, but from my experience, a lot of women think that they're finer than they are and they're not, but mm-hmm. you know, that's what they call the self-confidence and all that confidence boosting and all that other stuff. But anyway, um, a lot of times... Um, the prettier a female is, mm-hmm. um, the better the, the, the attractiveness of a female. She gets a longer leash. Yeah. And women being women, they are going to try their hand. Yeah. They are yeah. going to, you know. Yeah. They're going to pull them chains tight. Yeah. They're going to pull that leash tight to see how far you're going to go. Yeah. See how go. far you're going. See how far you're going to go. And um, that's basically what it comes down to. And then their last little, they you know, they throw up their last little weapons. They throw the guilt and the shame on the shit. And, you know, it's not that serious. It's just a little bit of money. It's just a little bit of yeah, this. And all you got to do is this. And all you got to do that. Yeah, yeah. And they throw the shame and tactics in there. Mm-hmm. That's their little last mm-hmm. weapons. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, learning, you just got to send them on their way. Um, I had a situation long ago, long, long ago. I believe I was 22. Maybe even 21. And I, um, you know, like I said, I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I was um, Captain Save a Ho, mm-hmm. one of the biggest ones. Um, I had the cape, long, bright cape. We're talking <laughs> about Darth Vader shit. <laughs> you know, Superman shit, simply. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was paying a bitch rent for a couple of months, man. Mm. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. You was paying her rent? Yeah. How yeah. much was her rent? Nine eighty a month. Nine eighty a month. And um I wasn't Damn. I wasn't even making that that type that much money. I think I was on well actually you no know, I was making that much money because I was getting paid I was getting uh, paid in Washington Post. So mine was twenty four, twenty eight hundred after taxes. So I was paying her rent for a couple of months. Um, she's dark skinned female, big ass butt, 
Um, she was built kind of like Pinky in her prime. Mm. Um, <laughs> you know, big lips, big forehead. Yeah. You know, I was paying her, paying her rent for a couple of months, mm -hmm. and um, it was nine eighty. And anytime that woman needed some money, anytime she needed some help, I was like, da da da, da right Hold there. On, so you was paying her rent and giving her money? No, paying like the other stuff on the side was lunch. Okay. Bringing her food when she was at work, she was hungry, whatever. Okay, so um, so what what benefits were you getting? Um, none at the time. Oh, so stop, 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 stop. Mm -hmm. None, none, nothing. So you paid her in a couple of times. Yeah, just a couple. And got nothing. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay. Okay. So. Um, I took her out to eat a couple of times. Mm -hmm. She always ordered extra food. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, after that, she cut me off. She was just like, oh, I ain't got to be with you, this and that, because, you know, I wanted to draw. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm like, you know, if you, you, you know, I'm giving... You know, so it's time we, you know, to receive. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, <laughs> so I'm like, you know, when you, you know, this and that, she felt like if she was only obligated to give me a couple of dates. So she said she wasn't obligated to give me no draws. So I said, you know what, that's fine. Um, so she stopped talking to me, and come to like that very next month, within, I think it was thirty days. She had got evicted. Hmm. And I said, how the fuck she get evicted in 30 days? And I gave her the money for her rent hmm. for like the last two months. And one of the dudes, because I knew her because we all used to work together. But one of my friends who still talked to her told her that she called him to come over and help her get her stuff out of the street because they put her stuff on the street. And I was like, Hold I've been step. giving her money. So she worked with you? No, she had worked with me in the past. In the past, okay. Out of that time. Gotcha. Out of that time. I had gotcha. rose up for a little bit, a little while. Yeah. And um, she had got evicted within like 30 days. Mm. She was using the money for whatever it was. I mean, she she was so broke at one time. She, asked, she told me if I can get her some tampons or some pads because she was on a cycle and she was using toilet paper. Hey, talk. Get, shut yeah. the, hey, stop, stop. <laughs> I'm not bullshit. I'm not bullshit. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. Hey, dog. All right, so let me ask you this. So, did a, eventually, did you? No. So, you never you never got anything in return? No. Okay, so, how has that, how has that shaped you going forward? Um, high step on the plane? Yeah. I'm on my pussy up front. <laughs> I want the pussy up front. Yeah. No more consignment. Mm hmm. No more, you know. Nah, you want the money? I want the shit right then and there. <laughs> same time, bitch. Same time. I don't yeah. know you. So, alright, so. <laughs> same time, bitch. Same time. I don't know you. I guess you figure. I guess. I guess you could say that you were sent. At, at, at that point in time, yeah, is that the only time when you were some? No, I mean before that, that was just the worst. That was the worst, right? That was was that the worst? Yeah, that must be that was the worst. I ain't shooting nobody on no bitch, so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I guess everybody, I guess everybody had their their, their simping moments, man. You know, mine wasn't wasn't that extreme, but you know, I I, I can't never, I can't say that I I'm very cheap, I'm very cheap. If I have to spend five dollars, I think twice about it. Um, so I can't say that I've given money. I might have been dumb in some relationships, mm -hmm. you know, like some things might have been going on, and an excuse that I got, I probably okay, and I shouldn't have okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, but but as far as like 
something like that drastic. Nah, I've never. Yeah, I've oh, never. Yeah. Um, it was after that. I think um, after that it was. I want to sit up front. I was um, Nate. I'm in a bind, Nate. Some other time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> the day after. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I wasn't playing no more after yeah. that. Yeah, because I remember that, and I really wanted to hit that ass. The audacity, man! I really wanted to hit that ass. If I showed brothers, if I had a picture of that woman's body, and I showed brothers today, and they'd be like, "Damn!" I'd say, yeah, I really wanted to stroke that woman. But you know it is what it is, and and you know the crazy thing is she was probably getting stroked by some other nigga that looked like Smeagol. Who the fuck is Smeagol? <laughs> the little dude, Gollum on um, Lord of the Rings. Precious. Yeah, a lot of women they pick. A lot of women they should be like, uh, oh, uh, 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 America, ill, ill. I could never. And then you see that man, and this man would look like straight up. A straight up junkie, man. Oh my gosh, I could never get it. So, so okay. So you wanted up front, but let's let's say you're in a relationship with a woman. Are you? Did that stop you from being uh, generous? No. With people you first meet or anything like that. If I'm, you say I'm in a relationship with a woman, if you relationship with a woman, or if you just dating a woman and y'all going on the first or second date, are you? Mm-hmm. Are you still as generous? I mean, that was. Generous to pay nine eighty. Yeah, I'm times. not paying on nine eighty for nobody that I don't know. First date or no second date or no third or fourth or fifth. So those days you paying rent is over. Um, if she's my woman, I would still pay rent. Okay, I would still help. Well, her that's different. Pay. That's different. Paying yeah. rent for your woman is different yeah. than. Well, you for know. for a bride that ain't giving me nine. Oh no no no, no. those days long 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 gone. No, you want your rent paid. I mean, for nine eighty now. I mean, the way the the, the, the price of the draws plummeted. I mean, nine eighty now. You gonna have to be my sex slave for a whole week. That's close to a thousand dollars. That's close to a thousand dollars. Now you gotta be in that butt naked with heels on. That's your that's your work outfit for the whole week. Oh, butt man. naked with heels on. It's cranking sessions. It's cranking time, man. You know, this conversation makes make makes talking to you over these last couple of years a lot. A lot since now, and why you feel the way you do about simps and women and things like that. I told you, I, I tell them all the time. I used to be one. I never knew that story. But man. at this age, niggas are supposed to learn. Yeah, yeah. They supposed to have learned by yeah. now. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. Yeah. The age of information. There's so much stuff you can go and study and learn and look at. YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. You don't even whatever. gotta do that. You can just learn from experience. You learn. I, I every L I took. I had to learn from it. And there's things that I know I will never do again. There's things, uh, uh, you know, especially, uh, hell, being in a serious, committed relationship. It's going to take a hell of a woman to get me to, to do that again. Like living together and being, you know, mm-hmm. preparing for marriage. It's going to take a hell of a woman to get me to ever do that again. At least... The next 15, 20 years. You just need a little young freak to walk around here. Not, I don't want no young women. I don't want no young women. No woman, if you under 40, it's a wrap. I have no interest in young women. None. I had enough young women. I don't want any young women. Ain't nothing wrong with a little servant hoe. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing nope. wrong with that. A little drink running around here. Oh man! Um, what I used to call them, a pipe cleaner, pipe cleaning okay. services. Yeah, that's ain't nothing wrong with that. All right, all right, brother. Well, do you have anything else before we wrap it up? Um, no, not really. <coughs> I think that's about it. Um, no, I'm good. I right, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, go to YouTube. Like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Oh. Yes. Oh, do have one thing. Yes. A quote from um, the movie, I Think I Love My Life. I mean, I Think I Love My Wife. I thought yeah. you was about to say something like Free Tory Lanez or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, you can't help Negroes these days. I explain that to you. But anyway, um, a quote from the movie, I Think I Love My Wife. 
you can lose a lot of money chasing women, mm -hmm. but you never lose women chasing money. And that is a fact. <laughs> that is a fact. That is a fact. All right. On that note, we out.